J ハット塾。Please hit subscribe. This problem appears at the qualifying examinations for applicants for Japanese government or MEXT scholarships 2020. This problem is from the 2020 College of Technology Mathematics questionnaire. The answer key and the original questions are linked in the description. For this problem, we need to solve this inequality, which means we need to find the values of x that satisfy this inequality. We notice that this inequality contains logarithmic functions, and so the first step to solve this kind of problems is to find the domain of the function. So, in general, the logarithmic function, the domain of the logarithmic function, Is the set of values that is greater than zero. That that is, we cannot have negative values here or or zero. So this quantity here, this quantity here, and this quantity here must be greater than zero. So that those are the first constraints that we need to take note. And then we have to simplify the inequality such that we can eliminate the logarithmic functions. And so we will be left with a solution in terms of x. Here we combined the two expressions to the left of the inequality in the given. We are given two logarithms, and from the laws of logarithms, we can do a multiplication inside the logarithm if the given is the sum of logarithms. And so that's what we did here. We are given log of x to the base two, and log of x minus one to the base two. And so we can simplify it into this expression. And then we recall that we have to write down the domains of each of the functions. So the original given log of x will have a domain of x is greater than zero. So we only have positive values that are allowed in the logarithmic function. So the same is the case for log of x minus one. So x minus one must be greater than zero or positive, which is equivalent to saying that that is x is greater than one. And here we also have the same constraint, that is x plus three must be greater than zero or positive, which is equivalent to saying that x is greater than negative three. Now. We notice that of these three constraints, the x, x is greater than one constraint is satisfied by all of these three. So we have to choose this constraint for this entire inequality to be true. Because, for example, if we choose x is greater than negative three. Then the values between negative three and zero will not be satisfied by this. Neither will it be satisfied by this. So among the three, only this satisfies all three constraints. And so that is what we highlight here. Now that that is taken care of, we can now proceed to simplifying the inequality. We notice that on both sides we have log base two, and because the logarithmic function is increasing, we can just remove the log base two, and so we are left with x times x minus one is greater than x plus three, which is equivalent to. We just multiply this out, we get x squared minus x, and here we get x plus three. Now we can move. X plus three to the other side of the inequality, and then we obtain this inequality here. On this side, we can factor this into two factors: x minus three and x plus one. Now, we have an inequality that says that the product of these two factors must be greater than zero. In other words, the product of x minus three and x plus one. Must be a positive number, and the only way for that product to be a positive number is for x minus three and x plus one to have the same signs. In other word, in other words, both of them must either be positive 
or both of them must be negative. For the positive case, we say x minus 3 is greater than 0 and x plus 1 is greater than 0. For the negative case, we say x minus 3 is less than 0 and x plus 1 is less than 0. So let's call these two, two inequalities star and these two, let's call them double star for convenience. Let us first consider the double star case where x minus 3 and x plus 1 are both negative numbers or less than 0. We draw the solutions if they exist in the number line. First, we simplify x minus 3, or rather we rearrange x minus 3 into this form. x is less than 3, and x plus 1 becomes x is less than negative 1. So double star means that x must be both less than 3 and less than negative 1. So x is less than 3 is the region where we have the pink highlight here. So it's everything to the left of 3. x is less than negative 1 is highlighted in blue. So that's everything to the left of negative 1. And where they intersect is where both of them are satisfied. And that's to the left of negative 1. So if there is a solution that satisfies these two inequalities, that must be to the left of negative 1. However, from the domain of the logarithmic function, we know that the solution must be x must be greater than 1. That means this green highlighted region that is from the domain of the logarithmic function. And so all three must be satisfied. x is greater than 1, x is less than 3, and x is less than negative 1. However, there is no intersection of these three conditions. These two intersect on this region here. But for, for the domain constraint, that is in the region to the right of 1. And so there is no intersection. And so there is no solution for this, for this case, the double star case. Now we look at the case for the star. And that is the case when x minus 3 and x plus 1 are both positive numbers. x minus 3 becomes, or rather x minus 3 is greater than 0 becomes, x is greater than 3, and x plus 1 is greater than 0 becomes, x is greater than negative 1. Again, we draw these in the number line. x is greater than 3 means that we have a solution or solutions to the right of 3. That is this pink region here x is greater than negative 1 means the solution is to the right of negative 1. And that's the blue region here. And from the domain of the logarithmic function, we have the green region, which is x is greater than 1, which is to the right of 1. And where these three conditions are met, that is the solution to our inequality. And that region is this bit here, that is 3 or rather x is greater than 3, that is to the right of 3, and that is from this, this and this green bit. And so our final solution to the given inequality is this. If you learned something new today, please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. See ya! J Hat to Juku. Please hit subscribe.